Hobart and William Smith College's theater department presents Supernatural Saunter, The Spirits of William Smith. William's Will. He was presumed dead at 93. They found a body, but that corpse wasn't, my dear friend. They want to keep this masquerade going, and I'm never one to ruin a party. Behind closed doors, mysteries, the likes of which you've never seen, dance like shadows that disappear in sunlight. One of those disappearances was William Smith. A double, that is. A fake. We had an agreement. He dedicated his body to our ruse in exchange for some assistance in the afterlife. The real William Smith, whose name is on that grave, refused to leave his affairs unattended and continued to work from within our own darkness. But in his old age, that body couldn't keep up with his vigorous spirit. I knew him so well that I realized this before he did. He met with his inner circle, I was among them, and laid out his plan. The details he kept vague, but he entrusted us with his unfinished affairs. The real William Smith passed on a year later at 94, while we were left to ensure that the veil was successfully embedded in the colleges. But I, unlike them, know where he was going. A place where only the man within the man can go. At least that's what it said in his prized journal. He didn't take it with him, not even into his grave. I presume he knew he wouldn't need it anymore. Yet he held on to that odd pine cone. A seed of possibility, he called it. He seldom smiled, except when he looked upon it. That little pine cone was a great shield to him in this world and the next. I saw that smile one last time before he passed when he requested that I be like that seed of possibility and keep shielding his creation. He even gave me a pine cone of my own. I planted it here to keep protecting the veil after I'm gone as well. For I too will depart to reunite with William, as this world has already wished peace to my ashes and peace to his ashes, as our spirits are ever-present. I admire him, and his ambition. He might have gone walking forward into another life. But he is still here. Supernatural Saunter, The Spirits of William Smith, is produced by Hobart and William Smith College's Theatre Department. William's Will was written by Anthony Bray and Troy Tedeschi. Featuring Troy Tedeschi as the Herald of the Veil. Directed by Chris Woodworth. Music by Ed Hallberg. Sound design by Kelly Walker, with assistance from Kyle Mast and Kels Veter. Delve deeper into the mysteries of Geneva's College of the Veil vale at supernaturalsaunter.com. for listening.